Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the L Metal Maker. Today, got, well, before I get into this box here, due to unfor, uh, unforskin circumstances, I am not going to be doing the, uh, the rocketry test today. It is disgustingly cold outside, colder than a witch's tit. But what I got here is the new 3D printer. Now, I did previously have a CTC 3D printer, which was actually a pretty decent unit. I got it about probably uh, four years ago for about 500 bucks. Did quite a bit of printing on it, and then it sat still for a good year, maybe a bit over a year. And unfortunately, when I started it back up again, it just was stuttering like crazy, and despite cleaning out the extruders, I just couldn't get good prints off it. And the pain in the ass is I've been wanting to use a 3D printer for a bunch of our projects, like the, uh, the coil gun, the electromagnetic accelerator. Uh, being able to use a 3D printer for that, super useful for like the opto interrupters and all that. Now, another thing I want to do with 3D printer is get into some lost PLA casting. So if you've ever done metal, metal casting, I'm sure you're familiar with lost wax casting. And this is pretty much the same exact principle, except instead of wax, you're just using PLA. So uh, penis lactic, no, no, uh, polylactic acid. <laughs> now, this is a $200 printer shipped to my door. It was, oh, there you go. Shipped to my door. It was right around 220. And I'm sorry for the audio in this room. We're in the, uh, the editing room where I usually got the good old porn refinery there. This is where I usually do all my video editing. We got some instructions. <laughs> so, here's the Chinglish I was looking for. Thanks for your order. Ender 3 is our latest 3D printer. Maybe this item still need be improved for much better. <laughs> what a thing to see when you get your brand new 3D printer. <laughs> Maybe this item need be improved. Do they not have anyone familiar with English proofread any of this stuff? Freaking incredible. <laughs> oh, look at this. And we even get a guarantee. Three months upon date of purchase. Wow. What a guarantee that is. Three months of protection. And you probably have to pay $200 shipping to get whatever you need. So looking at the meat of this unit. So there's our control board. This is the brain box. Yeah, heavier gauge than I was expecting, especially for a part that's non-structural. Got a nice coat on it too, whatever the heck that is. Some sort of powder coat, I'd imagine. Right, got the power supply here. Oh. Your standard Chinese power supply with little bits of hot glue and plastic. That's not even hot glue, that's some sort of snot. Uh, someone needed a tissue at the factory that day. Ugly. <laughs> That's confidence inspiring. But at least it's, you know, properly enclosed. You don't have exposed terminals there. So that, that's actually kind of nice that they do that. One big thing to watch out for. Make sure you get these swapped over to 115 before you plug them in. Some of these cheaper Chinese units can, in fact, fry if you don't do that beforehand. All right, so digging into it a little bit here, we got the tool kit and a bunch of other odds and ends. So it looks like belts and bolts are in there. Got some zip ties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They've include, included uh, some pube nibblers. Look at that, I wasn't expecting to see those. All right, so getting into the meat of it here. Step one, we need some M5 by 45s and horsers to assemble the erections. All right guys, so here we are quite some time later and you can see we have finished up the first print. Now, I did try to do an assembly video 
and it ended up being complete garbage. So I'm not going to waste your time or mine trying to post that or edit it. <laughs> Uh, there are tons of great videos on YouTube if you want to see how to actually build this printer. Now in case you're not familiar with 3D printers, super simple in, in concept. So you have your x-axis, which is back and forth like that, your y-axis, which is back and forth perpendicular to the x, and then your z, which is your up and down. Each of those is controlled by stepper motors, and then you have your extruder, which you can think of as basically a hot glue gun just <laughs> squirting layer after layer of molten plastic down on top of itself to form a solid object. Can't get any more simple than that. So I'm super excited to use this for building parts for the electromagnetic coil gun and also doing some lost PLA casting, all that sort of stuff. So I think this is going to be awesome for the channel and just looking at the first print here you can see the resolution decent you know obviously being the test print they're they're gonna give themselves an easy print but we got a bit of string in uh, especially in the back here a little bit of string overall not terrible though part that'll clean up very easy now <laughs> the crazy thing is you can see color change halfway through because they did not include enough filament to complete the test print on the printer they sent me so uh, not a good indication of anything, but then again, it's not necessarily bad. Overall though, guys, I think we got a good printer to do some projects with moving forward. So, I mean, heck, we can even print rocket parts on this thing. Alright guys, well that's it for the Rear Ender 3. Keep an eye out for it in future videos. I'm sure we'll be making tons of parts with this. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a great one.